Walkshables, droids, and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about Cinderella, but not only Cinderella, Disney Plus and uh, Cinderella. Now, the other night, uh, the news dropped about Disney, or excuse me, Lucasfilm, you know, firing Gina Carano or letting her go very publicly, and then strategically enough, the media announced that Pedro Pascal was going to be playing Joel in The Last of Us uh, movie, I guess. So it was pretty strategic. Pedro Pascal got a movie deal, Gina Carano got let go from Disney Star Wars. So I was scrolling through my feed and the hashtag cancel Disney plus was trending. And this popped up in my timeline because Disney promoted it. Promoted it means, you know, kind of like this one, you know, promoted by uh, Truly. So when it's promoted, that means the company paid to have it come up in my timeline. So they paid for me to see this. So it says, you know, special message from Brandy. They're just announcing that, you know, they are going to be releasing Cinderella, the live action version of Cinderella with Brandy in it, over on Disney+. Plus. So I tweeted and I said, no thanks, I've supported Brandy and the cast of Cinderella by owning it on VHS, DVD, and soundtrack since it all came out since I was a little kid. This is my favorite live action version of Cinderella. It's fucking great. It had Whitney Houston, Bernadette Peters, Jason Alexander. It was such a good movie. And it was one of those movies that actually had a colorblind casting before it was like super woke. And it's like, yeah, we have to have diversity. It's like this movie was doing fucking diversity before it was even a little check mark on your stupid fucking checklist. And this was a great fucking movie. You know, they just got the best actors to play the role. Did it make any fucking sense that the prince was Asian and his mom was Whoopi Goldberg and his dad was him? Absolutely fucking not. But we didn't care about that. We're like, yo, dude, Asians get a bad rap, but Prince Christopher Rupert was freaking hot. It's like we had him and then like the dude from Fly uh, House of Flying Daggers. And now, nowadays, what do you think of Asian dudes? It's like, I, you couldn't even tell these guys were dudes. You know, it's like, what on earth? I, I feel bad. Asian dudes get a bad rep. But when I was a kid, we actually had men. You know, like, this was the prince. He was a handsome man who happened to be Asian. God, this movie was so good. Me and my one friend uh, were, you know, nerding out about this years ago. I haven't talked to her in a long time, but uh, we fucking love this movie. This is such a good movie movie like when he sings to her you know do i love you because you're beautiful or you know 10 minutes ago i met you and it's like ah! and then when whitney houston is singing impossible it's like yes and bernadette peters i mean yeah she's a wicked stepmother but ah uh, it's bernadette peters so it's like you love her and it doesn't make any sense that she has two daughters and one is clearly you know pure black she's not half black she's you know full black and the other one i'm pretty sure this actress was older than bernadette peters does it make any sense absolutely not uh but guess what it's a good movie because they just picked the best actors to play in the movie and i grew up loving this movie and it was one of those movies that they just had diversity they had a colorblind casting heck they had an, like a basically age blind casting and it was a great movie and uh because i stated that hey i love this movie you know and i'm not gonna support disney plus because what they did to gina like fucking clockwork guess what i get called a nazi but so uh usually i would show this up on twitter but it turns out this person is just a kid that wants clout uh, so i'm gonna teach this kid that wants clout a lesson i'm not gonna give them clout but i'm still gonna show Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I'm still gonna show the shit that they said because this isn't okay. They said the way, uh, the way that they'll be fine without the support of a Nazi laughing face. Now, I retweeted this and I was like, don't use that word if you don't know what it means. So then this person asked, so out of curiosity, who's the Nazi? Weirdo. If you have to ask that, I think that makes you a sympathizer. 
Uh, this person, ah yes, asking questions, truly what fascist ideologies are all about. Thanks for the info. So it's like, <laughs> even other people are calling them out because it's so ridiculous. Calling me a Nazi because I like a movie that has a colorblind casting. This weirdo calls me a freaking Nazi because I love this movie and I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. You know, I owned it on VHS DVD and I had the soundtrack. I bet you this dumbass didn't know this movie existed until they saw, you know, it trending for Disney Plus because Disney was promoting this post. It's such, you know, just absolute hypocrisy. And, I mean, you wouldn't be using the word Nazi so lightly and just throwing it around lightly if you actually knew what that was. Now, I actually had the opportunity uh, because my boyfriend, his, uh, his twin brother, was living in Berlin. And so we went and visited him. And we went to a concentration camp that was just north of Berlin called Stockenhausen. I'm probably pronouncing it terribly. And... You know, if you ever go and you see what the Nazis did and you go to a concentration camp and you see the mass graves, you go in and you see the gas chambers, you go see, you know, the pits. And the one that I went to in particular had a bunch of art where the, for those of you that don't know, like, you know, obviously this person doesn't know, that's why I'm giving this history lesson. So... When the Nazis were trying to get the Jews and the gays and the disabled and, yes, some blacks, because that's one of the things about Nazis is that they were racist. They believed that the Aryans were the dominant race and they wanted to exterminate everyone else. That was their ultimate goal. They just happened to start with the Jews. Well, so what did they do to try to get the Jews to get on the buses to go to these camps? They told them that they were communities. So they had artists go to these concentration camps, these very early concentration camps, and they had them draw them like they were happy communities. And the art is, you know, it, I mean, it still shakes me to my very core. It's nightmare inducing because... You know, they're trying to, the artists were specifically told that you need to make this look happy, like, so that way we can, you know, brainwash these people, that way we can trick these people to get on these trains to come to these camps where we're going to work them to death, or we're just going to flat out kill them, and they had to make it look like happy communities. You know, that's some of the things that Nazi did, and, you know, these artists, if they didn't do it right... If, you know, the Nazis and the SS, if they didn't like the way that this artwork came out, they would kill them. That's what Nazis did. So saying that, you know, equating me to one because I like this movie is beyond fucking insane. Children today do not, they're not learning history. You know, I didn't have to go to a concentration camp to know that that is not something that you call someone just because they have a different opinion than you on the internet. You know, from the generation that I'm from, which isn't that much older than this kid that's calling me this word, you know, we actually got taught in history classes how terrible that shit was. Going there and seeing it for myself gives it a whole new meaning because I've been there. You know, I saw the writing. I saw, you know, the words on the gate, work will set you free. I saw where people died. That's not a word that you should be using lightly, especially not when you just don't agree with somebody about an actress or about a movie. I guarantee you, you know, a real Nazi would not be happy with this movie, would not be happy with a colorblind casting, would not be happy that a white man is married to a black woman and they have an Asian son who is in love with a black girl. That is not something a Nazi would be okay with. So calling me a Nazi because I love this movie is in fucking sane. And these kids that, you know, have access to the internet because mommy and daddy is paying their internet bill and mommy and daddy is paying for their phone and they're allowed to go and tweet this shit with no consequences. And for those of you that don't know, if you say the R word, you know, the word retarded or retard on Twitter, you get banned for life. If you misgender someone, you get in trouble. You know, you get put in a timeout. If you call a Nazi... If you call somebody a Nazi, not a single damn thing happens to you. You know, it's just 
hypocrisy at its finest. So I just wanted to let everyone know and make them aware of this situation because it's not fucking okay to just go around and call somebody a Nazi. I've been called it so many times within the past week. People didn't like that I, you know, did a paint over of the She-Hulk character to make her look like the actual She-Hulk character because the artist drew her as a man. I got called a Nazi for that. You know, I, I got called a Nazi for defending Gina Carano. I'm getting called a Nazi because I like Cinderella. This world that we live in is losing its fucking mind. And I just wanted to make everyone aware because, yeah, it's a, you know, it's just a stupid post about me liking this movie. And I've loved this movie ever since I saw it. It's a great fucking movie. Still, to this day, I think is the best live action version of Cinderella ever made. It might even be the best version of Cinderella ever made. I just kind of have a soft spot for the Disney animated one. But because I shared my love for this movie, I got associated with some of the worst, sickest, vilest creatures to ever walk this planet. And that is beyond fucked up. So everyone, I just wanted to make everyone aware of the situation because people shouldn't just be throwing that word around over just because they see someone that they disagree with on the internet. It's not okay. So everyone, let me know what you think about this uh, video and, you know, this entire situation in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you don't, that's okay. Uh, thank you for watching this far through. And until next time, have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know if you didn't know already that I have an Etsy where I sell prints of my artwork. I got horror villains, Marvel, DC, and Star Wars characters. The latest Star Wars character that I just added was the one, the only, Gina Carano as Cara Dune. Now Gina herself even loved the painting. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description of this video. They are selling like crazy and I am still only in the pre-sale, so go pick that up before they're gone. Also, if you want to see a video of me painting painting and explaining how to paint like this, go over and check out my art channel. The link is in the description of this video. Go over, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss it when I post the video. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. What's up everyone? I have a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799871. Have a great day everyone. Thank you so much.